Hello, my name is Everett with Dynamo Scale. Today we're taking a look at this gorgeous new rendition of the Lima Berkshire from MTH's Premier line. MTH has done a number of runs of these Lima Berkshires over the decades. This particular model is from the 2021 production run, which was featured in MTH's latest catalog, 2020 Volume 2. These models have an MSRP of $1,199.95, though you may be able to find them for less at a good hobby shop. While well, MTH has done many runs of these engines, each run is a bit different, and this newest run easily stands out the most, with early and late lettering variants for the 765 and other nickel plate cab numbers, a pair Marquette version, as well as a Wheeling and Lake Erie version done in a more limited number for Pat's trains of Wheeling, West Virginia. Updated detailing and paint jobs, and while not advertised at all online, the catalog, the box, or the owner's manual, these engines also shipped with a steaming whistle feature, which we'll get more into in a bit. I'm not going to delve too deep into the real 765's history or stats, as there's dozens of videos that do a great job at that, and there's an abundance of information on 765 online. However, for those not familiar with the 765, the NKP 765 is a 284 S2 Berkshire type built in 1944 by the Lima Locomotive Works. While her revenue career ended in 1958, she began operating as an excursion engine in 1979, a career she continues to this day. As a result, 765 has become one of the most recognized and famed steam locomotives on the North American continent. Going over the build quality and detail, it's superb, to say the least. There are a lot of separately applied details and a number of cast-in details as well, though most are separately applied. The running gear or drive rods look fantastic. The light gray paint is new to the MTH Burks. In the past, they've been a shiny silver or a dull polished gray. The rest of the model's paint job is just as good, with crisp, well-defined lines and perfectly vibrant colors to match the original. I couldn't find any defects in this model's paint job. The engine, of course, has all the high-end details typical to the MTH Premier line. Legible builder's plates, safety tread on the walkways, tender deck drop plate, which is also stamped with a safety tread, firebox glow and flicker, painted cab interior with crew figures, opening windows and vents, and what I find to be the most appealing whistle steam feature on any model from any company. For me, personally, I both love and hate when a model has the whistle steam feature. I love the feature, but I hate the horrendously unrealistic gaping hole drilled into the boiler. This is true on all of the Lionel Legacy and Lionel Vision Line models, as well as the handful of MTH models that had the smoking whistle feature in the past. However, this model, without the feature even being advertised, MTH has debuted a steaming whistle that doesn't have a hole in the boiler. Instead, MTH has piped the steam through the whistle itself and out a pair of tiny holes at the end of the whistle. I know Lionel did release a starter set about a decade ago, which had a conventional engine with a steaming whistle that was also piped to the whistle. However, the hole was much bigger and positioned awkwardly at the side of the whistle, essentially moving the gaping, unrealistic hole from a black surface to a golden surface, making it even more noticeable. Moving to the tender, the detail level remains exquisite. Operational backup and marker lights, more of MTH's fine paintwork, tender hatches which open to reveal sound and smoke controls, safety chains on the tender's trucks, and a real coal load. The front and Mars light, as well as the tender's backup light, are both directionally controlled. Conductor's giving us a highball signal. Mm -hmm. 
Now let's start the engine up and see how she sounds with these new sound sets off the real 765.
I'm gonna blow her down. Clear? Clear. That's it for our review of this gorgeous new model from MTH's Premier line. Normally, I try to find something to critique, a flaw to point out, or operational quirk to address, but this model presented none, something I wish I could say more often. Thanks for watching, subscribe and hit the notification button to keep up to date with Dynamo Scale's newest content. Till next time, and don't spend too much on your train layouts, I know engines like these new Burks make that very hard.